seeing them. So I just got the notification. I want to be able to see everybody's comments. give everyone a chance to log on so this week we have been talking about sexual appetite we have been talking about being compatible sexually which is extremely important because a lot of times when we are dating we find out if we're compatible about a lot of things during the dating process but when it comes down to being sexually compatible some people are really turned off uh, by talking about sex, especially early on. But some people feel like, I don't really want to waste a lot of my time by not asking the right questions. Because sometimes the problem is we're not asking the right questions when we're dating. And it's not saying that we're about to go and have sex. It's just that we have to ask the right questions. So moving on, suppose you're not dating and you're actually in a relationship or you're in a marriage. And you still trying to figure out if y'all are compatible sexually. One thing that is constantly being brought to my attention is guy meets girl. Girl has high sex drive. Every time guy takes girl on date, guy and girl have sex. Guy thinks she is very sexual. Guy marries girl. Guy and girl are together every day now. Guy has expectation that she is very sexual because when I met her, every time we saw each other, we had sex. But now we together. And now I'm pretty much having to beg for it. I'm pretty much having a high sex drive up here with a certain expectation and her sex drive is down here. One of the things that I have found that alters the sex drive a lot is birth control. A lot of women are, you know, taking control of their lives and being very responsible when it comes down to pregnancy. And, and keep in mind, and I have to tell this to men, you're not taking anything. Like, you're not taking on the role of being responsible when it comes down to us starting a family or suppose we have started a family and now we have completed our family. You're not taking on that responsibility of birth control. And a lot of times what happens is women get on birth control because women take on the responsibility of determining if they want to continue to have children or not. When women take on the responsibility and they opt to do certain forms of birth control a lot of times it throws the hormones off and you have absolutely no desire for sex yeah you you you're resolving one problem by not being able to get pregnant but we have another issue now because now you're not being sexually active so i just wanted to kind of throw that out there even though today we're going to be talking about um Oh, goodness, let me go to my topic. I know my topic, but I want to word it exactly how I wrote it. When is your favorite time of day to have sex? Morning, midday, or night? I need y'all to answer that. When is the best time for you to have sex? In the morning, midday, or at night? Answer that for me. Because I did a poll... And it's always funny to me because men and women, their answers are always so different. Studies show, and even according to my poll, men prefer sex in the morning. Men would much, they wake up with morning wood. They wake up with an erection. They ready to go as soon as they get up, like before their eyes even open, they got a hard dick. Like, they ready to go as soon as their eyes open up in the morning. Whereas women, our bodies are different. Here we go with this car. You got to warm this car up. You got to let it sit a while. The 
car got to get warm, and then it gets hot, and then the car runs. We don't wake up with an erection. A lot of times we wake up and our mind is on everything that we got to do to start our day. Whether it's prepare for work, whether it's to get our children situated, whether it's to do chores before we leave the house for the day. But fucking is the last thing on our mind. When you talk to women and you poll women, women would much rather have sex in the evening. But it's a catch-22. Because a lot of times when you're dealing with women, they have done so much throughout the course of the day where they would prefer sex in the evening, but a lot of times by the time the evening gets there, they are physically and mentally exhausted because they've done so much for so many people throughout the day. So how do you feed your partner's sexual appetite when... You are exhausted, but yet morning does not work for you, but you so tired in the evening. Compared to night sex, morning sex is better for some people and worse for others. Some people are not morning people. They're not going to want to get up in the morning to have sex. But I think that it is a question that you have to continue to ask each other. And I say this because my husband and I, we are both self-employed. But as my husband has gotten older, his sleeping patterns have changed drastically. I never, ever, ever thought that I would see Spencer Parker go to bed with the chickens. But my husband goes to bed with the chickens a lot of times, meaning that as soon as night hit, he in the bed. I walked up in there the other day at 5.30 in the evening. He was in the bed, sleep for the night. But this same person gets up at 3 and 4 o'clock in the morning. My sleeping pattern is completely different. How do you maintain a healthy sex life when you both are desiring sex at different times? Well, I'm going to use today for an example. We had a, a whole day that we spent together. Topped it off with some wonderful sex last night. I woke up this morning, Spencer Park was wide awake. And he was ready to go all over again this morning. But the thing is, couples have to find things that work for them. Meaning that sometimes we try to do this traditional, oh, we got to have sex before we go to bed at night. Well, sometimes the morning may be good. Or sometimes y'all may be able to link up as soon as you get off from work. At 3, 4 o'clock in the evening. People always want to put time frames on different things. But let me tell you something. When you're dealing with single people and dating people, they come through this stuff all day long, buying condoms and getting shit to go fuck with, right? to go fuck, to use right then and there. I'm saying all that to say, people is having sex all throughout the day in the middle of the day, in the middle, on their lunch break having sex as soon as they get off or some people off on during the weekdays and they able to link up and hook up or some people putting their kids you know their kids can start going back to school they able to link up and hook up so the thing is a lot of times when people are in relationships they try to put themselves on these schedules but you have to communicate with the person that you with and you have to find out you know when is it the best time for you? Not saying that I'm always going to be able to accommodate that time, but I have a knowing in my head that mornings are better for you. Or I have a knowing in my head that you are not a morning person. All right. So let's talk about some things that go on with morning sex. First of all, morning sex, you have more testosterone, more estrogen. I'm trying to find it on here because I had my notes. Oh, uh, testosterone, where is it? Mm. Oh, here we go. Let's see. Generally, it's better to have sex in the morning because many people bodies have higher levels of testosterone and estrogen. 
two hormones that influence sexual desire at the start of the day. So research shows that in the morning, we have higher levels of all of this type of, type of stuff. And let me just say this too. When I pay attention to our sexual patterns, I feel like I get more out of sex in the evening than I do in the morning. Morning is more so almost like maintenance, if that makes any sense. Like morning sex, I'm not wearing lingerie. Morning sex, a lot of times we're not using a lot of toys. Morning sex is just basically me and him doing us. And for me, morning sex gives me a lot of energy. I get up, I take my shower, I'm ready to start my day. I'm good. Like this morning. But it put him to sleep. He probably still sleep right now. So you also have to understand that sometimes when you release in certain endorphins, that your body reacts differently according to who you are. Some people, they have sex in the morning and it gives them a lot of energy. Other people have sex in the morning and it completely relaxes them. But at the end of the day, you have to have these conversations because it's important to be compatible. And it's also important to be flexible. Okay? Let's see. Again, I already went over. Women a lot of times prefer evening sex. Men a lot of times prefer morning sex. Okay. So, I wanted to read something. Because the thing is, when I... When I come up with these topics, I come up with the topics because there is a need for the topic. Okay, so a lot of times when you're dealing with people and they're not getting what they need sexually, they become very frustrated. And... A lot of times what happens is the person starts to believe that their partner doesn't desire them and they experience a certain level of rejection mentally. If you know you don't have a high sex drive or you know you're taking some type of birth control or some type of medication that is altering your sex drive, sometimes you have to step it up in other areas of the relationship. Sometimes you have to communicate more and let your partner know, like, look, I'm taking all of these medicines. I'm on, on all this different stuff. So naturally, my body doesn't crave and desire certain things. But if you come to me and you do certain things, whether you may kiss me, whether you may massage me, whether you may do some type of foreplay, my body will eventually follow my mind. In other words, I will, I will, in other words, you can start warming the car up, all right? And eventually, I'm ready to go. But please don't think that I don't have a desire for you sexually because my mind doesn't naturally tell me to do certain things to be intimate. It's not me. In other words, that, that medication and what all it has it has me doing does not reflect how I feel about you. So sometimes we have to have real conversations. Real conversations. Okay. So basically he says that if you're not sexually compatible, how much of a strain can it cause on a relationship? Because it's more of me that wants to engage in sexual activity. And it's like she's not horny as me. Or she doesn't want to do it. And if we do, it's only for a few minutes. And the shit is driving me crazy. But she apologizes for it. But it's very frustrating. Can you imagine the strain that this can have on a relationship? Okay. So we go on. I'm looking on here because, again, like I told y'all, I did the poll. A lady comment. 9 p.m. be hitting different for me. 
another lady. Anytime we find available, but I, I prefer nighttime. Male, male, mornings and midday. Another male, early mornings. Another male, before I start my day. Another female, anytime. I'm saying all of that to say is a conversation needs to be had. Even if you got to go on my page, screenshot the little question and send it to them, create, get some dialogue to go on. Find out when is the best time for you. Me, I prefer evenings because it gives me a chance to be able to get myself together. Because y'all know in the morning time, I don't have on eyebrows and eyelashes. And I, actually, this is what you get, this plain face right here, because today I don't have any makeup or anything on. So... I'm one of those people who is into fantasy. I love to get dolled up. I love to wear beautiful lingerie. I love to have all of these fragrances and pheromones on my body. I love to be able to set the mood with my music and candles and all of this stuff. Make sure my toys charged up and all of this. So for me, evenings work better because it gives me time to prepare for this whole, because for me, Sex is an experience, okay? We're not just having sex to have sex. It is a, it is an experience. So for me, evenings work best. I don't have time to get all this shit together in the morning time. So again, for us as a couple, sex in the morning is just maintenance. Some people really need to, and I know people look at me crazy when I say scheduling sex. Some people really need to get into the habit of scheduling sex. They really need to, to make sure that it's happening. Especially if you on different, uh, like we already discussed, some people sleep separate, uh, have different sleeping styles, have different bedtimes. If you got all of this stuff going on and you in a relationship, you have an obligation to put some things in place for your relationship. And don't look at my relationship to be for yours. Don't talk to your best friend who got a whole different lifestyle than you. You can't put your relationship and you have to create things amongst yourself, okay? Questions, concerns, comments before I go and look for this last comment that was on the page. Let's see. Ooh. I think I said I was going to screenshot it. I might have screenshot it on my iPad, though. I'm notorious for that. Yeah, it's screenshotted on my iPad. So let me see if I can find it right quick. Uh, oh, I asked the question today. What part of your body do you like to get uh, compliments about? Have all types of dialogue. And a lot of times what I found is when I'm talking to people, especially about their sexual habits and all kind of stuff like that, a lot of times people don't even take the time to realize what it is they enjoy and what they don't enjoy. Let's see. The, come on. Where is it? It's so much that be the went on over the night. Oh, well, if I can't find it, then I wouldn't get. But I always like to give testimonies word for word. If I can find it. It's on this group page. Here we go. Good evening, Queen B and Queen Sisters. I just have to say this. I've had 10 surgeries, neck, back, and others, but that pillow is a beast. My husband and I did some of our old positions, but with that pillow. It was like we were in our 20s again. All I can say is purchase one for our 50 plus customers. So in other words, she's saying if you in the age group of 50 plus, this will be a benefit to you. I got more pillows in now. They're not $27 anymore. They're back up to regular price. But you can go on the website to www.dppgstore.com and purchase the pillow. Or you could come into the store and purchase the pillow because we have restocked. If you ordered online, be looking in the mail because they have all shipped out. Um, But yes, this pillow takes a lot of the strain 
off of your body to get you in certain positions, okay? When you laying on this pillow, I kid you not, when you laying up there and them legs go out, them legs gonna fly all the way back. And that pussy gonna open all the way up. And ain't nobody gonna have to hold no legs or nothing because the way gravity have you, you elevated just enough 27 degrees perfectly and it has you positioned just right. It's so many other positions if you look on the box and if you're shopping online, there's a little diagram. It's so many different things that you can do with your pillow, okay? Well, I have looked on here. I don't see any questions, concerns, or comments at this time. So with that being said, you all be blessed. Let's see. Uh, I'm just making sure. Of course, most of the women